Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Wood Dragon Lunar New Year reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, and it gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so very much for doing so. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay, so we have the moon reverse, just falling right out, wanting to be heard. Angels and spirit guides. And then we have the Knight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and then Temperance Reverse, which is also Sagittarius energy. So just be mindful if you are born on the cusp with Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart, this part of our personality can come through very strongly, but it can bring a lot of fear with it. So being aware of that, that we can be, not can be, we will be facing things that we are afraid of during this time or looking at things and and seeing the shadows left and and yeah seeing the fears on mass is very much wizard of ozzy you know the man behind the curtain energy coming forward so that's actually a really good thing and then we have sagittarius energy reverse temperance you know so if we have sagittarius energy in our chart or in our lives like that we can kind of like nails on a chalkboard kind of great against us a bit so do be aware of that but also temperance like things being in balance during this time we're going to be looking at things and saying is it in balance is it in harmony and we're going to be looking at what isn't in balance in our lives and really fixing that really fixing it with honesty and openness for ourselves so that's going to be a really good thing now we do have to be mindful with the five of pentacles there's a poverty mentality here now are we going to be tackling that yes absolutely so it's interesting to have a poverty mentality come up in the dragon year because a dragon year is like a powerhouse year especially a wood dragon year we haven't seen this in 60 years so this is a rare occurrence in our lifetimes and it is beautiful it is absolutely beautiful the dragon symbolizes power nobleness honor luck and success a dragon year is epitomized by activity and reaction so we always want to be moving during this year and so does everybody everybody wants to be moving going you know growing you know that type of thing and we can also be very reactionary <laughs> to things so just be mindful with the with the king of wands coming through aquarius we can kind of have our temper move forward it's not going to get the best of us too often but it can so just being aware of that with and this is fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius so strong sagittarius energy here maybe not coming through always as you know complimentary as we wanted to with the five of pentacles we can feel during this year at times on the outside of success so again it's rare for a dragon year, but this is also a year where people look at what everybody else is coveting and saying, that's what I want. You know, why don't I have that? And instead of being one of the ones with their claws out, like, okay, I'm ready to fight for this. We can look at it and say, well, I just don't get to have it because of, and then we can look and see, okay, these are my traumas. These are my hurts. You know, we, you can look where your Chiron is, the cafeastrology.com. You can get your your whole entire chart done. And you can look where your, your Chiron is and be like, okay, that's where my pain is. So, you know, that's my original wound. Everything builds off of that wound. I'm never meant to have success because of that. Like we can, we can look at things and we will look at things like this during this time. And Spirit's like, cut it out, cut it out, get out of your own head, cut this out. It's not, it's not appropriate, right? It's not, it's not where you are supposed to be. So just be mindful about this Aquarius, that there's this energy here of I don't get to be wealthy and prosperous. And it goes completely against the dragon year. It, it does. It goes completely against everything the dragon year has to offer. And the two of wands, we're opening up doors. We're opening up doors and we're seeing success. We're seeing ourselves move forward in ways that we hadn't imagined that we could, because we're going to be releasing this poverty mentality for from ourselves we're going to be releasing a hurt a pain a disappointment a sense of of lack think outside of the box think outside of the box okay we're so used to doing things a certain way think outside of the box aquarius it will propel you forward in ways that you couldn't imagine now what's also really cool is that with this being a wood year wood fuels the element of fire so this this you know quality of the dragon is amplified the fire quality of the dragon is amplified and fire is related to life power and comfort so that is really cool we are going to see that a new 20-year cycle is starting in feng shui and this is going to last until 2044 
Now, this cycle is dominated by the element of fire, again, representing life, power, and comfort, and the number nine. And that the number nine represents, you know, is a, an auspicious number signifying completion and luck. It also represents dragons and phoenixes. So rising from the ashes, embracing our power, that is going to be a huge theme for us. And once we finish this 20 year cycle, this feng shui cycle is going to be a completion of a 180 year cycle. So the energy change here is huge and it's really cool. Okay, so now let's see what spirit has to say. Now, if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a heart in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on the 1st of March in a completely separate video. So keep your eyes open for that. And yeah, don't be scammed by anybody because I will not be contacting you in the comment box only in that video and all the instructions will be there. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading, a private personalized meditation or a healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. Because of popular requests, I have mini readings opened for a limited time. So if you want to check that out, you know, go to my website and, and see one of those. Okay. Now our spirit message is imagine. This is a time to really embrace our imagination, to open up the door, to let ourselves think outside of the box. This is going to be an important thing for us. If we do not imagine, if we do not create during this year, we're going to feel like we wasted the year. <laughs> we are. We're going to feel like, oh man, I didn't do what my soul needed me to do. So being aware of this is super important. Let's see what our chakra energy is. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is clarity reverse. This is the third eye chakra. And this makes perfect sense because again, this dragon year, you know, I don't know a lot about Eastern mythologies, but I do know Western mythologies around dragons. What do dragons do? They hoard their gold. Think of smog in, I think it's smog, in the Lord of the Rings. He hoards the gold. You know, dragons hoard gold. They steal maidens, which I always think is just preposterous because what does a dragon want with a village maiden? You know, no matter how pretty she is. So what we see is that we start to covet that which others covet. So this is going to be a time where we can lose sight of our clarity. So looking at our third eye, and it also makes sense with all the chaotic energy of this world that we can lose sight of what is our clarity, our truth, what is sacredly, you know, prosperous and bountiful to us. So the third eye comes forward, clarity is reversed, and we need to be focusing on our third eye, on embracing our imagination of connection with spirit, of opening up to our dreams and to our ideas and to our insights, and really letting ourselves move forward in a way that is like, oh, this is my path. Because that's going to be a thing, oh my gosh, spirit's just showing me like white glowing footsteps. Olwyn? Okay, that's that's Celtic mythology, and that's uh, that that name means white glowing footsteps. So if your name means white glowing footsteps, because that's weird. Um, if your name is Olwyn, <laughs> which is is a very cool name, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's coming forward. So do be aware of that. We have clarity coming in. We have an embracing of our third eye. But we need to focus and we need to meditate around our third eye. And just knowing that in a dragon year, that's the last thing that we want to do. <laughs> we want to keep going and moving, going and moving, and spirits like no slow it down slow it down and connect I actually, I, is it celtic mythology it's celtic mythology i don't know if it's irish or welsh i think it's welsh but i'm not sure the name Owen. okay so let's see the energy that we need to be mindful of during this time angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides here we have the two of wands reversed so that's really interesting so be mindful that doors are closing, but also we have the two of wands right here. Doors are also opening. So you're going to have certain things close and it's going to be a way that you think things are going to go. It's like, oh, it's going to go just like this, right? This year is going to be filled with twists and turns. It, it just is. So as soon as we accept that, it's like, oh, okay, like expect the unexpected. Okay, got it. And now I can move forward kind of with more of a sense of I can do this. Yeah, I can do this type of energy. So being aware of this is going to be super important. Now with the moon reversed here, fear can come up in a very big way. We can also find that our emotions are pulling us into very different directions during this time. Be aware of this. Like let yourself connect with your emotions and let yourself see your fears. There is an element of rest that is so important with this year 
because it is such a year of like, I want to put my nose to the grindstone. You know, I want to get everything done. I want to be as successful and powerful in this and that as, as like humanly possible that we're going to to take away what is important. We're going to take away our sleep. We're going to take away taking care of ourselves. So spirit is saying here, listen, if you do that, your fears will come forward tenfold. They just will because we're not giving our bodies a chance to process things. That's how we process. You know, we process things through sleep. If you have a, a watch that tracks your sleep or a ring that tracks your sleep, we you see that spike in, in stress while you're sleeping. That's because your mind is like downloading, dumping all the information and your psyche is figuring it out because you'll see that spike and then you'll see the, the calm come. And we need to give ourselves time to process, to connect. That's just going to be a very important thing and a very powerful thing for us, not only during this time, not only during this year, but for all the years to come. So just know that there, there is a sense here also of looking at what we're afraid of and saying, why? You know, why does it get to hold me back? Because we have the Knight of Wands energy. And the Knight of Wands energy is fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it is determination. It is focus. It is, you know, it is fire. It is the sense of I'm going after this. I'm going after this. And it's funny because with Pisces energy, and we can be born on the cusp with Pisces, right? Or have Pisces in our chart with the Pisces energy coming forward. It's like, this is what I'm afraid of. But it's like, feel the fear and do it anyway. Look at what you're afraid of and say, sure, I got this. Like, sure, I understand this but this doesn't get to rule me. And it's not connecting with our third eye. It's letting our imagination and our worry run away with us because we can see so many different angles of things. Remember also Pisces energy is the only other, well, there are two dualities, dual energies in our, in our zodiac, right? We have the Gemini represented by the twins. So everybody's like, oh, of course they're dual, but also Pisces energy represented by the two fish. So of course they're also dual, but that is duality in emotion that duality connected with the spiritual, the emotional. And we're going to see that our fire wants to burn away the emotional. It's going to be a difficult year for everybody to truly connect to their emotions, to truly see their fears and their doubts and not let it win or not react angrily to it. It's like, I'm going to destroy it. Kind of like a little kid when they get hurt, if your your kid is of that certain temperament, right? Where they get hurt and it's like, oh, you stupid, like, you know, chair that hurt me. I'm going to beat you up. And you're looking at them and you're like, no. Let's not do that. So being aware of this during this time with the Knight of Wands, I'm moving forward in, in fire and determination and insight. I'm moving forward towards what sparks joy within my life, but also what guides me towards success. And we're going to have to do that while feeling afraid, you know, while, you know, feeling the fear and doing it anyway. A poverty mindset comes forward. Now, this can be generational mindset, you know, a sense of one of your parents, your guardians, whomever raised you could have had a very negative mindset around money, or it could have been that they got to spend money, right? Because I am seeing this for somebody. They got to spend the money. But anytime you needed money, and this could also be a relationship, right? Anytime you needed money, my gosh, my gosh, did you get it? So just be mindful about this during this time that in us are deep-seated scars. Now, if we say, okay, Dane, my upbringing was great. We, they were great with money. You know, my family was great with money. I don't know. And I haven't had any partners who have money issues either, which, you know, lucky, right? To have all that really positive energy around you, around finances and wealth. But I don't know where my fear with money is coming from, my, my being held back. Then this is past life. This is past life energy coming forward and saying, you know, no go, no go. So just be aware of this during this time that we kind of need to follow, we need to follow the line, right? Find find the knot in the, or the kink in the armor type of thing. We need to follow the line and see ourselves, freeing ourselves. And that's going to be a very big thing because this is going to be a year where we free ourselves because, you know, dragons love gold, dragons love prosperity and success and bounty and wealth. And so here we need to free ourselves from being locked out of that prosperity. And also we're going to find community. We felt locked out of community, a sense of connection and belonging. And it can be that we even, you know, pulled ourselves away from that. And we're going to find that during this year, Aquarius, we, we find a sense of community. We find a sense of belonging. We, we connect more with the greater world, even though we're, we're going to be resistant to it. So just be, be aware of this during this time. With the two of wands, doors are opening. 
doors are opening. We're looking at fire and passion and determination and focus. And we're going to be looking at our future. And we're going to see doors opening to the place that we need to be, to what we need to discover for ourselves, to how we need to, you know, open up our doors, you know, embrace our prosperity and success, you know, move ourselves forward in that magnificent way. So being aware of this during this time is going to be so important that this is a year where, yeah, doors are going to close. Absolutely. Doors are going to close and we're going to be disappointed, but new doors are going to open. Do not limit yourself. This is a year to use your imagination, to think outside of the box, to look at things in a kind of big picture sort of way and say, why not? Instead of why? Because we're going to say, why? Oh, I can't possibly do that. You know, we're held back by fear and doubt. And it has to be a path that was walked before. And Spirit's saying, why? The Knight of Wands is the second fastest moving knight, right? Is not afraid to bra blaze new trails, is not afraid to push things forward, is not afraid to go after. And that's the energy that we need to bring forward during this time. It's like, I can absolutely do this. And not only can I, I will, and I am. And it brings us then to temperance reverse. Now, again, we can be having a hard time with Sagittarius energy. So if that's in our chart or if that's in our lives, you know, just be mindful about this. But this is a year where there's a lot that has been out of balance. And we felt it like internally, externally, we've felt the imbalance in the world. And now we're going to find ourselves stepping into balance, stepping into balance. But we're rejecting a lot of the imbalance. We're, we're feeling it. We're seeing it. We're understanding it. We're living it. And we're going to be finding harmony. But we find the harmony through looking at what just isn't right in our world anymore and saying, no, no, thank you. But thank you. You know, no, I'm not doing this. And then we open up a door. But we're going to see the discord first. The way that some people just move forward in this year, like, like they have wings, right? Dragon wings. And for others of us, it's just going to be a little bit slower. We're afraid of the speed. We're afraid of the intensity. We want things to kind of mellow. We feel the imbalance, you know, moving us forward instead of the harmony. And so now it's time to claim the harmony. It's time to see ourselves. It's time to, you know, face the fear, name the fear and say, you don't get to be the shadow that looms over my head. Yeah. And the doors get to open. You know, it's kind of like, I'm just thinking of Voldemort, right? In Harry Potter, where it's he who must not be named. He who must not be named. It makes it terrifying, right? You can't name the thing. It's so terrible. You can't even say it. But then when you name it, and we see that in, in mythologies, you know, time and time again, you name it. The name has power. But you name it, you're taking some of the power back. Yeah. So that's what I'm seeing here. Names have power, absolutely. You know, we don't want to say the thing in, for fear that we'll summon it forward. But if we look at the magic within ourselves, like if we want to call it magic, spirit, tenacity, brilliance, you know, of humanity, we name it. We see that it's not the boogeyman, you know, standing in the corner. There's power here fantastic power for us Aquarius our subconscious energy to be mindful of not mindful of but our subconscious energy here from spirit is create I love that you have imagine and create come forward imagine and then create with it know that there is nothing holding you back like the sky is the limit it brings us then to our chakra energy which is determination and this is the solar plexus chakra we are determined we are focused we are insightful we are swimming upstream subconsciously we are so determined to achieve our goals and to move mountains to move forward and this is going to be what we do so just be aware of that and listen to your gut our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the ace of cups this is god's source spirit however you see the divine the universe handing us a gift of healing beautiful love we're not ready for it it sounds like a silly thing not to be ready for but <laughs> it is going to be that way nevertheless so with the Ace of Cups, divinity is saying here, emotions can flood us. You know, when the Ace of Cups comes in, we can see that flood of emotion, you know, that, that wellspring of emotion falling down. And it can bring tears. It can make us overly sensitive. It can make us feel the world so much more. And we'll be like, whoa, wait, this is too much. And we just want to shut it down. We are right in one sense, right? We can't, we can't live every moment being so impacted by the world that it just it just stuns us, right? We, we can't live in it, right? Because we're too sensitive to it. But if we don't feel it, how can we truly connect with it? 
So here there's going to be a balance. And we need to do that in strengthening our spiritual self, which is something that people don't tell us how to do at all. I highly recommend Spring Forest Qigong, which I have linked in the description box below. I love doing Qigong. I do find that I, I tend to, when I need it the most, I tend not to do it. So do be aware of that. It is a, a tricky thing, but it is something that that is just so beautiful and so centering and so powerful. And here, we're going to find that we are resistant to the emotions that come forward, but that's okay. That's okay. We're healing and we'll be connecting to them when we can. But we are, we are going to be very resistant. It's like, nope, smack that down. You know, I don't want to feel that much. And spirit's like, why? Why not open the door? You might have a couple of weepy days. Yeah. But why not open the door and see where it takes you and see how we can balance that energy within ourselves to, to move further and further and further into, into a blessing. Our subconscious tarot message is the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, this is a time, and it's so interesting because this is a time that can offer tremendous wealth. And yet we have that sense of like, not, not for me. And so many people, so many signs are having this struggle during this, this lunar new year, this wood dragon year of it gets to be wealth, but for somebody else. And spirit is saying here, no, it is time to dress for success. It is time to embrace your prosperity. It is time to say, I matter and open up the door and move forward with confidence, a, a bit of arrogance, even, you know, during this time to say, this is where I need to be. This is me. And this is my success. And that's absolutely what needs to be done. So just knowing we need to we need to care carefully nurture our seeds during this time. We do. We need to plant seeds, look at what we want to learn, look at what we want to grow, look at how we want to do things and move things forward. Make a plan. Make a plan for this year. And say from February 4th, 2024 to February 4th, 2025, this is what I want to accomplish. And this is what I want to move forward. And this is where I need to be for me. And we're going to be surprised, right? We're going to be surprised by just that, that bit of a plan and patience patience and nurturing that the doors open in ways that we hadn't imagined they could. All right. All right, Aquarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aquarius. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.